Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we'll be solving this problem from Pathfinder MCQs from the chapter of Impulse and Momentum. So let's read the problem statement. So we have three light identical rods, each of whose length is L and they are connected to a light pivot that enables them to rotate in any direction. At the other ends of the rods, three particles A, B and C whose masses are M, 2M and 3M are affixed. Initially the rods are coplanar Angle between any two adjacent rod is 120 and the particles are at rest. Now the particle C is given a velocity of u perpendicular to the rod and we have to comment on these two particular questions. Do give this problem a try for 3 to 5 minutes and then come back later for the solution. So in question 23, they stated that the acceleration vectors of the particle A, B and C is, is as per the following. So we have to talk about the relation between the accelerations. Okay, so if you take the rod plus the three masses as a system, there is no external force acting on the system, right? So we can say the acceleration of the center of mass of the system is simply zero. So we can easily say that sigma ma of all the particles must be zero. And we know ma, mb, mc are, are in the ratio one is to two is to three, which means option C is the right answer. Okay, now now question in question 24, they're asking us about the individual acceleration of the particles. So this question is a little bit more challenging than the first one. So first and foremost, it was given in the problem that this pivot over here is light, which means the net force acting on the pivot must be zero. And these three rods will be applying tensile force on the pivot. And it's and it's given that the angles between uh, these rods is 120 degree. There is only one possibility that the tensions in each of these rods must be the same. So let's call it as some T. Now, as it is given that the rods are light, it means that the, the forces, uh, the force throughout the rod is constant and it is equal to T. Okay, so the initial velocity of the pivot is simply zero. Now the tensions in each of these three rods are the same and the masses of these particles are in the ratio one is to two is to three, which means the accelerations will be in the inverse ratio of the mass, right? So, so the acceleration of A will be in this direction and let's say its value is A. So using that logic, we can say the acceleration of B will be uh, A by two and the acceleration of C will be A by two. 3. Okay, and this is because uh, the masses are in the ratio and this is because the masses are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3. Okay, so now the thing is, it's this problem is easier to solve if we work in the frame of reference of the pivot. Okay, so let's, let's say the horizontal acceleration of the pivot is some ax and the vertical acceleration of the pivot is some ay. Okay, so if we take the pivot as a frame of reference, then the centripetal acceleration of a and b will be 0, right? Because there is no perpendicular velocity to the rod. So uh, so let's write the centripetal acceleration of uh, mass B relative to the pivot's frame. So all we have to do is reverse and add this AY acceleration to it. So we can say that A by 2, which is the acceleration of B in the ground frame, plus AY must be zero, right? And this equation ensures that the centripetal acceleration of B in the frame of the pivot is zero. Now let's do the similar analysis for A. So for A, let's reverse and add AX and let's reverse and add AY. So this angle is 30 degrees. So, so the net acceleration towards the pivot is simply going to be A minus AX cos 30 minus AY sin 30. And this has to add up to zero. So we have three variables, right? A, AY and AX. So we need one more equation. And for that, we'll use the fact that the centripetal acceleration of C in the frame of the pivot is going to be u square divided by l. So again, reversing and adding the ac acceleration components, uh, we can say a plus ax cos 30 minus a y sine equals u square divided by l this time. And this would be our equation number three. Now, if you solve these three equations, you'll get the particular value of a, ax and a y as these values. Now, the acceleration of a is simply going to be a, right, in the ground frame. So, and a is simply six u square divided by 11 l and b is going to be half of it and c is going to be one third of it. Uh, so, our option c is the right answer for this question. So, that's it for this video, guys. If you have any doubts, you can comment down below. Do give this video a like and share it with your friends if you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.